Your choices please me. For now. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Well, that's not what you want to see at the start of a game. Hello there everybody, my name is Lorenzo, and I like to play video games. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, something is different here. You would be correct. This is League of Legends, and this is not a live commentary. I'll start with the latter first. I decided to change the format of my League of Legends gameplays because I felt a live commentary on a 30 minute long video just didn't work. I was either babbling or I was dead quiet, none of which made a good video. So instead, I decided to go the Battlefield 3 route and condense the games into a much shorter video. This way, a 30 minute game could now be a 50 minute video while still maintaining all of the important parts. If I get a kill, I will put that in. If I get an assist, I will put it in. If I get a death, I will put it in. And yes, that is what she said. I will also show things that are important to the game that may not necessarily have to do with me or that involve someone dying. Like if someone destroys a turret or if I buy an item. All those things will be here. This is to break up the action a bit so the video isn't just, here's a kill, and another, and a third. I feel that this new format with its easily digestible size and its more focused topics will bring you guys a better viewing experience. Now, onto my second topic. How am I playing League of Legends when I said that my client stopped working? Well, thanks to Boomchi and his team, I'm now able to play League of Legends once again. If you didn't know, I play League of Legends on a Mac, and since Riot doesn't support an official Mac client, Boomchi has allowed us Mac users to enjoy this game just like everyone else. I will leave a link in the description to where you can download the client if you're on a Mac and would like to play as well. Quick warning though, there is a bug that makes your screen black or white when you join a game making you unable to play. The tip to not having that happen? Don't command M the game. Just in case some of you don't need my warning, I'll leave a link to a fix in the description as well. Well, would you look at that? I seem to have blasted my way through the topics. I guess I'll just talk about the gameplay. <laughs> yeah, okay, enough of the scripted stuff. Yeah, I, I wrote that script so I could get all my points across about all that stuff. But now let's just talk about the gameplay and let's just freeball it because that's a little bit more fun for me. Even though I said live commentary is my good at. Whatever. I can contradict myself and you can't say a thing about it. Uh, yes, anyways, let's talk about Church 42. That little, whoever that chick is right there with a big boomerang star thingy. We made a good team, as you can see here. Like, we perfectly set up this ambush for the little robot dude right there. And I was going to type, you know, hey, are we going to do it now? And she just goes and we do it. And, well, let's. I'll let you see what exactly happens. If I bad spelling. Boom! Goodbye, Mr. Robot. Oh, he's trying to run away. Isn't that cute? Oh, but he died. Yes, that's just one of the... If you, the, if you saw the beginning of the commentary, you would know that. That was pretty much the whole beginning of the game for Church and I. Is that we just kind of killed. And look at that. I got a double kill. How awesome is that? I think it's pretty goddamn awesome. Ow. Um, sorry, I'm cracking body parts right now. Uh, yes, so here is an example of me buying stuff. It's just that way you guys know what I'm buying and what I am doing. So you can either say, hey, I like that. I might start using that. Or saying, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Don't buy that. You have this character. Um, yeah. So speaking of character, I guess let's talk about Katarina. Um, she's the person I played last before the my client stopped working. But... I really like her. She it's it's definitely interesting interesting not having mana, but I like that. Um she's very she's a very fierce hero champion to use just because it's um she, her her character her abilities and all that stuff really um allow the user just to run in there, do a little bit of damage and then run back out with her speed and with her 
sh teleportation move, which I think is Shunpo. I think, I don't know, but it's just very easy to just get in there and get out. Um, and the, uh, her, her, her R ability, you know, that definitely does help when you're fighting more than one unit, like now, even though I died, but you know, I, it did help me a little bit there. I, I, I just love the ability she has to just deal damage really quickly and fast and then get out, oh, which is really good for, you know, leading someone into an ambush or something because they'll wind up chasing you because you did damage and you run away. Um, it was worth it. It was. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I, it's, it's awesome how I can do that. I definitely do have fun. And, uh, they yeah, a little monkey man. He gave me, he gave me problems this game. He really did. Um, and he's trying to, he's trying to go around, but I'm like, uh, nope. Sorry, monkey dude. I'm going to get behind the turret. And now you can't do shit. Oh, poor little monkey man. He didn't get a banana. That's weird. I don't know why, but it's weird. Oh. Again, here's an instance of me just going and doing damage and getting out and just waiting, waiting, waiting. That's the thing I like about this character. You're able to like wait and like patiently just think think it out. It's, I, I, I think she's definitely strategic just because of the way her character is built. Oh. I think she's more strategic than uh, than Annie, in a way, in a way, not just because Annie has that stun ability, which or like she has the ability to stun someone, which if you know things go, you know, if the shit starts hitting the fan, you're able to stun them and you know get away, hopefully. But here you're just like, well, I hope I can get away, and you know you just gotta kind of think about your situations, uh, which as you can see has been doing me a lot of good. I'm four and one right now with three assist. That's pretty good for my second game back after not playing for uh, however long it was. I think it was like a, maybe a month, month and a half maybe. Um, but yeah, here we're chasing after Mr. Monkey Man, and there's no Monkey Man to be set, to be seen. Oh, there he is. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, he gets away. Yeah. Uh, where does he go? Can anyone tell us where he goes? Because I seriously have no idea, and it's it's really bugging me. Because he just le legit vanished into thin air. Um, anyways, yeah, there, there we are getting buffs, you know, because we should never be like that. Um, and I definitely have started using turrets to my advantage, just because, like, uh, right there the melee character, he's standing right next to the tower. He can't attack me, because then the tower will attack him. So I just go up there and I start pummeling his face in. And it works pretty well until he attacks me, which the turret then attacks him, which, you know, is good for me, but I die. But my friend gets the kill and I get the assist, so go teamwork. Yish. Yish. By the way, do you guys like the sexy fades? Because I do. I don't know, for some reason they just really, really like them. They're awesome. Um, there, I don't really know why I did my W move. I just, I, I think I hit the keyboard by accident. Um, yeah. That's right, come here, monkey man, come attack me. That's right, a turret will say something to you. Then my knives ability. I love that knife ability. Knife uh, ability. It's, it's fun. Um, and again, this is my friend over there. I don't know what that hero's name is. But I do know that he winds up dying because of that of that circle move. That circle move kills him so many times, it's not even funny. Um, there's a good instance later on, I'm not sure when exactly, but there's a good instance of me using that area of effect to his disadvantage. It's pretty comical. Um, here, my friend is destroying a turret all by a lonesome, just, you know, hacking away, just attacking over and over again and then BOOM! The turret is destroyed as you heard the nice lady say. Um, yes. Monkey man. RUN! <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there's certain times when I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm getting out, I can't do this. 
Um, but then now I have a teammate, so it works out well. Yeah, yeah, we go ham on that dude right there. Oh. He he goes beast mode, but it doesn't really work against two heroes. Because if you're one hero and you go up against two that are the same or higher levels than you, well, you have issues because you should never do that. Going up against two heroes is just crazy. Three heroes? That's just ridiculous. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Watch. I'm outside of the ring. No. My bad. Not this one. It's not this one. It's at the same turret. The same turret. It looks like the same, so that's why I thought it was this one. Uh, here's me being just a little bit too cocky and trying to chase him down, but yeah, that didn't work well because I almost died. Sort of. So I run away, catch my breath, and here it is. Here it is. Watch. I'm right outside the circle, and I'm like, oh, step, and it starts attacking him. Ah, I thought that was a pretty clever move. I don't know why, but I did. Oh. And here I'm like, nope, not getting away. Chuck Testa. And then I get the last hit. Just I I just barely get the last. I don't know how I did that, but I just I barely got that one. Oh. Yeah. But I, I love that cheeky move. Never forget to use the turrets to your advantage. Especially with area of effect spells. They're awesome. Oh. And again, there's our little robot friend. Trying to hide and in the in the bush like little beach, but I'm like, hey, what you doing, huh, huh, huh? And then I can go ham on him. As you can see, his health is just going down, 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 and I kill him. Um, tries to escape, but I slow him down with my F spell, exhaust, exhaust, I think. Yeah, I think it's exhaust, and um, he attacks for some reason. Don't really know why, but. He should have kept running. I would have caught him, but should have kept running. Um, as you can see, this new format of the video definitely just keeps it coming and doesn't really like have those long moments of I'm not doing anything, I'm just sitting there waiting, I'm teleporting back, I'm buying things. It's just, you know, here's an important part, here's another important part, here's another important part, boom, 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 boom. I love it. It is lovely. Um, yeah, so here I decide to get my needless, needlessly large rod, because there's so much you can do with that. You can smack people with it, you can use it as a walking stick, you can support a house with it. Um, here I kind of, yeah, I should not have really gone in there, um, but I did. Don't really know what, and I went back in. I should have just ran and healed, but no, instead I decide I'm gonna go head first and I die. Um, he had like 100 health left too, which sucks, but but as you can see right here, he's just chilling there all by himself and he decides I'm gonna teleport right in the open. Oh, nope, never mind. Sorry, dude, you can't do that. And I uh, I proceed to punch his face in. Um, boom. Uh, so that was definitely, that was, that was good. I got a little revenge kill back there. Very nice. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What's happening here? Um, if, if the screen looks like the frame rate's dropping, it's because it is. Because, um, for some reason with the new Mac client that Boonji released, uh, around the 25-ish minute mark of a game, um, it starts to uh, drop frames, which I don't really like, but what can you do? You just have to deal with it. Um, so I lowered my settings, as you'll be able to see later on in the video. You'll be able to see my menus and whatnot. But I, I did that to hopefully... Uh, uh, to stop the frames from dropping as much during a video. Just because I feel like watching stop motion video on a gameplay would not be very good so here I drop it I drop some settings down a little bit oh um, this is not the uh, the first time that's I'm sorry that's not the last time I'm gonna do this in this game uh, as, you, as you can tell it's it's pretty pretty ridiculous donkey right now and get another assist there 
Um, and as and if you're observant, you've probably noticed that they've been pushing into our base for a while. Um, yeah, we we were doing better on like kills and stuff and whatnot, but when it came to the important stuff like pushing into their base and destroying their inhibitors and stuff, we didn't really do that and they just kept coming in and so you'll probably be able to tell the outcome of this game, but it sucks. We should have definitely been pushing more and going towards their base than rather than just defending our base. And here, for some dumb reason, I decide I'm going to go into a 3v1 situation. Yeah, I get my shit pushed in. It's not cool. And it hurt. And from here on, I speed it up because I just die from here on out. And we're going to lose. Sorry, spoiler alert, we're losing. Um, so really, since this game is wrapping up, I just want to say thank you to Boomchi for fixing and getting a new client out. Um, thank you to the viewer for watching. Hopefully you like it. Don't forget to like the video, give it a big thumbs up. That makes me happy. And if you like it, make sure to subscribe. And if you don't like it, comment and tell me I have bananas up the ass. Alright, see you guys. Peace.